you and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. Hi cultists, welcome back to a new episode of Slay the Princess. Today I think we're in episode 4. And when we last left off, we were trying to annoy the narrator as much as possible. And we tried to actually not enter the cabin and go see the princess, but to stay in the woods and try to leave. Which caused a bunch more troubles than I was hoping for. Actually, the war collapsed. <laughs> and many, 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 I don't know, the, the dimensions, like fractal breaks on the continuation of the story happened. And on chapter 2, we actually met a new version of the princess that happens when we, I don't know, we don't follow the story as intended. And she became an amalgamation of very various amounts of the princess on previous or future timelines, I don't know. It was really, really weird. But the thing is that after that, we survived our encounter and we sent her to the entity and we are going to be beginning a new cycle. On this one, what I was thinking of to do is just go down to the basement without the knife and see how it will be work if we don't have a knife with us. And, well, I guess we'll see what will happen in the video. So if you liked it, please share, subscribe, like, and all the YouTube dance so the channel can grow. And of course, we can get more artists. So without further ado, let's begin. You are the princess, once again. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. <laughs> look at this. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. So cordial, thank you so very much. You make your way <laughs> up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Go to the cabin right away. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Yeah, such a pristine blade. blade. Is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yeah, such important item. Let's enter the basement without it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. The door to the basement creaks open revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. He always says that, right? Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Let's see. Hello? Is someone there? Ooh, she's... Okay, this is different now. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Okay, is the hero getting involved now? Like, is he... attracted to her? Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Relax. I just say hi, I just want to sound um, reassuring. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come downstairs. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. 
Hero, try to concentrate, okay? Think with your head. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Hold on, let's talk a bit first. Okay. Explore. I was here to slay you. You have apparently you are apparently supposed to end the world. But I wanted to see for you for myself. I'm still not sure what to believe. It, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. Like it's like the first person that we've met, but she's actually scared. That's how long has she been locked away? Then our writer probably is not gonna tell us. Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Nope. We have had this conversation before, so let's At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here, and those two groups are probably one and the same. And that is the narrator and who knows who else, and the narrator is not trustworthy anyways. Don't let her turn the tables here, this isn't about trust, this is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch no less. That has nothing to do with it. Let's see, let's explore whatever the hero wants to do. So, I can't believe they have been keeping you alone like here like this. And getting you out of here. You're only making this more difficult. And then, alright, I don't know if that writer is gonna control us again, but let's see what, is, what this leads. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No. Writer, shut up. You're doing the right thing. Let's see. Walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Yeah, I don't have it, of course. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Uh, this is feeling a little bit familiar. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? We'll try. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Okay. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. I don't really trust this thing. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock Again. sliding into place. He's going to take control out of us, Someone right? Here. This is the same as before. Ah, damn it. Make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier hmm. for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yep. There's a slight <laughs> panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. But how can we? She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Oh, fuck. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. They, they threw me the dagger. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. We are going to die on this one, but I want to see the cannibal... <laughs> the cannibal princess. Or we could use it to free her. If we take her, it's very, very likely that the narrator is going to possess you us again. like what happens if you do that. Let's try to save her. And I think this... I know where this is going, but let's see. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment, 
you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Okay. To cut into her flesh. Uh, again, <laughs> it doesn't make it easier. And not with blood on her mouth. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. <sighs> Fuck me. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She uh. didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she, she didn't. didn't. She smiles <sighs> softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. Fuck How me. is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Rush the, door, the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are ah, too high. I knew it. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Fuck off, narrator. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Fuck off. What are you doing? Oh, Warren. Stop that. Fuck off, narrator. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Your Kill me. Lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Alright. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. Again, you are taking control over me. You're a dick. I'm going to resist as the much blade. as I can. Move the blade. Not gonna happen, Raider. Let's make her kill me and see what happens on the Your second body chapter. Remains frozen in stubborn resistance. The princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Okay, we're, we're dying now. That's for she sure. She it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. Yes, For hero. For her sake? <laughs> Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. This than anywhere else. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. Oh man, <laughs> it's painful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, shit. She not use a knife, does she? <laughs> no. Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. And it's sad. So sad. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, it will. rich coming from you. <laughs> as much as I prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Man, it's so sad. Everything goes dark. And you die. And I accept that. The damn soul. Okay, this is new. Okay. So it was similar, but this is new. A path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. 
we're here to slay her. You're here to slay her. Now, if you I, it will be the end I'm thinking the, the what well, what happens to the hero this time? Okay, no. <laughs> oh, don't you start grandstanding about morals? The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. Are we? Remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yeah, let's see what happens to the hero. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. This mython, the be our beloved, what? Our beloved. <laughs> your beloved, yeah, exactly. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. <laughs> yeah, that writer can hear everything we think. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. <laughs> what the hell, man? We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like <laughs> he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. And... Well, we didn't get the peck in the last time, but... What yeah. can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. <laughs> sounds so stupid. Ah, oh, it's green as fuck. Let's proceed to the cabin. A warning. Before you go any further, I know your warning. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. That's so stupid, man. You sound stupid, you. Talk like a stupid man. I think uh. we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. <laughs> yes. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. <laughs> sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. <laughs> okay, the hero being the voice of reason for the first time. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Let's go. Let's head to the cabin. And this time, I believe I won't take the knife. The interior of the cabin Ooh. is clean and elegant. Its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Man, look, it, now, it, now it looks like a... the cabin looks like a castle now. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Okay, should we take the blade or... You know what? I'm going... I'm tr no, because I've been I've been taking the blade in the second chapters. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm not gonna take the blade. Let's see what happens. Fuck it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. Alright, it looks way better. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her <laughs> is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. How will she sound like now? Hello? Is someone there? Look at the epic music. Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. <laughs> I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. Let's go ahead and see her. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. 
my hey. love. We're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. Smith and you're so stupid. You know she can't hear you, right? <laughs> That's way nice. She could be she will was able to hear us. She'll be cringing. I think more than I, I'm doing right now. <laughs> she may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. <laughs> it's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. Um, most of all, she remembers that we have been here before. She called us a hero. <laughs> Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Not yeah, Waiting of course. for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. Yeah. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. <laughs> Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters Ooh. is you have a chance to do it right this time. So every time, every time we, every chapter, it's a world ending. We damned a whole world, but everything reset. Yeah. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. You can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. Okay, we're getting a little bit more of backstory here. Horrible for you, maybe. But we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. Fuck off. Now, hold on. <laughs> if she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? Yeah. We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't <laughs> let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost <laughs> it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. I'm sorry, but he's too funny to be ignored. There are two things here now that I want to explore. I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body, and it was extremely unfair. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. Because you're a dick. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. <laughs> she took that in stride. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? Ooh, that's an interesting question. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. And what are you? I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. <laughs> uh, let's see, that's... Okay, let's rescue the princess, whatever that means. Rescue her? What are you talking about? Did you forget that she's a world-ending monstrosity? And even if you wanted to unleash her onto the world, despite the complete moral disaster that would be, you'd have to get her out of those chains. Good luck with that. Uh, that's... that is actually true. Don't you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her out with ease. Are, are we, though? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. If her hand could just slip out of the chains, why hasn't she done it already? <laughs> because we've yet to present her with her freedom. I'm not sure I follow. Yeah, uh, I don't know Rather what's... Rather believe me, a passionate heart guided by love and my own good nature. Or would you rather believe the devil on your shoulder who tells you what you can and cannot do? Let's see. I think I'd rather believe in facts. <laughs> ah, so you're one of those empiricists. 
one of us has to be. Yeah. Let me show you a brand new truth. Narrator, we courageously step forward and free our beloved from her <laughs> bindings. No. Oh, no. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? I would if you had a weapon. Yeah. On my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try <laughs> anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. Oh, crap. You wouldn't. He would. I would. Well, I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And <laughs> doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? You approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're We're doomed. doomed. <laughs> Let's see. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. Yeah. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. The hell? I'm free. And you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. <laughs> if only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. <laughs> Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Sir Romance. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? Oh, not the power of love, dude. <laughs> what do we do now? Guess we're getting out of the cabin? Ooh, okay, now I'm gonna say this one. We we'll leave and then we have our whole life to figure out when we, <laughs> what we want to do next. That sounds perfect. The princess takes your hand, the last <laughs> hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. <laughs> we have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. And the music, man. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. That's I right. mope about it, because moping <laughs> is the only recourse you love-blind fools have left me with. <laughs> You and the princess walk up the stairs, hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. This meeting's gonna kick the door open. That's a familiar move. Yeah? Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair! We're supposed to leave now. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Uh, he's gonna kick the door. Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her! That's... that's true. Of course you wouldn't understand. Our <laughs> passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. But it's so fun to do so, narrator. I'm so sorry. I'm just along for the ride at this point. <laughs> You're me, hero. We both are here. It's along for the ride. This is so much fun. Ooh, okay. Let's try it out. I think I got this. Open the door by yourself. Okay. Yeah, you've got this. For the power of love and all that. <laughs> you place your hand on the door. Ah, don't tell me that I, he kills me or something. And... The lock clicks. <laughs> the door creeps open. Are you kidding me? <laughs> ha! I knew it. Your words are no match for the pure strength of our hearts, bound together as one. <laughs> you and the princess make your way upstairs, and... The blade, that's right. There's still a chance for you to do the right thing. Take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late. No, 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 I need to... You're not doing this. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. I hate you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Night Rider. That's the way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. 
Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. And... Back to the void? And then you step outside. Oh my A god. happy ending at last. Uh, not really. We did it. What should we do now? Where did <sighs> everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. You are too busy hearing your own voice. <laughs> I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? Oh, that's She's sad. Cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Okay, but we know we're a monster because we have feathers. And she's taken. Well, at least we gave love to the entity, I guess. <laughs> but you don't get the chance to make that jacket. <laughs> no will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Okay, we have we have been here before, so But it feels so bad. Like looking Let's see what the right now is gonna be the end of everything. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? He al he's also scared. Let's reassure them. Okay. If you say so. We'll trust you. Yeah, we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. Well, in some regards, yes. Let's approach. You approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They are gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You have un unraveled? Does my hair look like more skeletal than before or something? What the hell? You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Let's go to the cavern. You are at the cavern. It's a brooch. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Do you know what we'll find out there? I'm not really sure. There are trees and stars and there are people, I think. At least, there are supposed to be people. There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. That is true. Do you have thoughts on this new vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. See? She always is repressing her heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator. I have asked me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Do you... Do the vessel had one? No. Their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? He does, but I don't know why. But I know that's for a fact. I am on the cusp of my awakening. Perhaps you are on the cusp of yours. Oh, really? So she's about to be awake, so... Perhaps just one more thing? Let's go back. The next time I see you... Each of us will finally know what we are. Yeah, it's so cool. I will be here, waiting for you. And... Everything goes dark, and you die. Alright, so that's been everything for today. Um, it was very interesting having... <laughs> a kind of love story between the hero and the, and the princess it was kind of nice. However... Uh, well, we gave her a somewhat happy ending when we deliver her to the entity, but I don't know what's going to happen next. 
And of course, she told us that just one more vessel will be enough to free her, and apparently we will both know what we are, so... Uh, <laughs> can't wait to see what's gonna happen now with the story, and probably this will be then a definitely ending. So if you don't want to, to miss what's gonna happen, remember to like, to share, to subscribe, of course. And once again, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for being so awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.